Hello everybody, welcome to the video. So today we are going to see how to become a professor of biotechnology at SRM University. So if you are somebody who has finished your PhD or you are doing your PhD and you want to enter uh, any private uh, university in India as an assistant professor or an associate professor, then this video is definitely for you. So we are going to today talk about how you can become any of these uh, professors to start with of biotechnology at SRM University. I'm Dr. Vaishali, academic specialist at Biotechnica. Biotechnica is a space where we guide you in anything and everything regarding your bioscience career. Come, let's explore the topic. So first and foremost, let us see some overview about SRM University, right? So SRM University is one of the well-renowned, uh, well-known private institutions in India, right? So they have uh, various departments. The different departments that they have is engineering and technology, medicine and health science, management, science and humanities, law, as well as agricultural science. So if you are uh, with the background of life science, Sciences, then yes, you can become a professor in any of these departments, that's engineering and technology, second medicine and health science, as well as agricultural science. So, so these are the different departments that you can enter. Right. So that is with the overview. Second, moving on to the campus in itself. So what, uh, how many campuses are there in uh, SRM University? What are the different branches uh, and where are they located? So that's what we're going to see. First and foremost, uh, these are the different campuses that's there. It's there in Chennai. Uh, in Chennai, there are three campuses, right? So Chennai, that's Tamil Nadu. First is the Kartangalatur campus, second is Ramapuram and third is Padapani. So these are the different campuses in Chennai of SRM University. The second is uh, at Tiruchirappalli or uh, Tirchi. This third is at Delhi NCR. Next is AP, that's Andhra Pradesh. Next is Haryana. And the last one is at Sikkim. So these are the different uh, campuses of SRM University in India. Right now, the next... Uh, uh, topic that we are going to see is what are the bio related courses at SRM University and in which campus are they present because if at all you are entering uh, you are you are going to join as a assistant or an associate professor at SRM University then what are the different courses um, or, or course works and what are the different bio biotechnology or biology courses that you will be teaching right so even when you are applying you need to know what are the different courses that's available in the campus because because while applying also you need to uh, fill in these details right so the different uh, biology courses are so first and foremost, let's start with the Katangalatur campus that is in Chennai. So in Chennai, uh, Katangalatur, there are two different um, uh, courses that's being offered in both B.Tech as well as M.Tech. So in B.Tech for bio courses especially, there are these different courseworks, right? So the first is B.Tech in biotechnology. Second is B.Tech in biotechnology with specialization in genetic engineering. Third is B.Tech in biotechnology with specialization in regenerative medicine right and the fourth is BTEC in biomedical engineering right so these are the different BTEC options that's available so if you are a specialist in say genetic engineering or regenerative medicine then yes you can take uh, courses for the students who are into these courses right so this is the first uh, campus that we that we talked about the second is the ramapuram campus so in ramapuram campus that is in chennai the btech in biotechnology is available third is tirchi so in tiruchirappalli as well uh, there is btech in biotechnology that's being offered at srm university next is ap that's andhra pradesh there are two uh, science courses these are not engineering uh, or technical courses these, these are science courses that's bsc uh, in integrative biology that is the first course second is a post graduation program that is msc msc in molecular biology and biotechnology right so these are the two uh, science courses that's available at 
ఆంధ్ర ప్రదేశ్ నెక్స్ట్ ఇస్ ఇన్ హర్యానా ఇన్ హర్యానా దెర్ ఇస్ బీటెక్ ఇన్ బయోమెడికల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ రైట్ సో దీస్ ఆర్ ద డిఫరెంట్ బయాలజీ కోర్సెస్ దట్ ఇస్ అవైలబుల్ అట్ ఎస్ఆర్ఎం యూనివర్సిటీ అండ్ వీ సో అట్ విచ్ క్యాంపస్ దే ఆర్ అవైలబుల్ యాజ్ వెల్ రైట్ సో ద ఫోర్త్ Uh, topic is the research so we are going to see how is the research at uh, srm that is uh, srm's uh, institute of science and technology so that's what we are going to see so first and foremost is about an overview of research that happens in srm so especially if you are somebody who is interested in research and you want to know what is the research uh, that happens at srm university before you become you want to become a professor then yes this uh, that's the reason I Uh, put this particular research at SRM University. So the overview there are around uh, 170 plus funded projects that's uh, that has uh, happened or is ongoing at SRM IST. Second is there are more than 15,000 research papers that's been published by SRM and there are more than 100 patents that has been uh that, that has been applied for right so these are the different this, this is the overview of research uh, programs research activities that goes on at srm university second is a few research wings that is biotechnology specific research wings uh, that are present at srm university so the different uh Uh, the wings are traditional medicine promotion the promotion that happens for the traditional medicine like ayurveda and umami right the next is um, environmental nuclear research so this is another wing next is nanotechnology and how nanotechnology is used in the field of health agriculture etc next is bioengineering right so these are the four different wings which is applicable for uh, biology specifically right so these are the different wings that's a uh, that's present in uh, SRM University. Uh, apart from these, the research that goes on in wings, of course, there are a lot of collaborations, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, MOUs that has been signed by SRM University with different universities and, uh, um, uh, you know, medical institutions as well. And they uh, do research in uh, with those universities or institutions as well, right? So that is with respect to research uh, specifically of biotechnology at SRM University. Now, after the research activities, next we'll be moving on to the fifth point that is the job description. So, especially when you have to join as an assistant or an associate professor at SRM University, what is the job description? What are the functional areas that you will be working with, right? So, the first and foremost is, of course, teaching. So, uh, teaching to students, uh, whoever have taken up that particular course. Second, mentoring. So, mentoring the PhD scholars who will be uh, assigned to you, right? So, mentoring them and there will be a little bit of administrative role as well. So these are the three different broad areas that you'll be concentrating on teaching, mentoring and administrative role. Apart from that, you, you will also be involved in conducting research at SRM University in the labs that is present, right? So uh, while you're conducting this research, you're also you'll also be given the task of publishing high quality papers and uh, you know applying and uh, applying and uh, being granted the patents as well so these will be different um, you know these will be different responsibilities that you'll be having apart from that you should also write research proposals and try to get get grants from government or private institutions that is one and then you'll also be involved in product development right so these are the different uh, roles or activities uh, that you will be assigned to if uh, whenever you're joining as an assistant or an associate professor at SRM University so that's with respect to job description the sixth point I wanted to talk about is the eligibility right so what is the eligibility or the qualification that is required if you want to join as a professor Right. So first and foremost, your BE or BTEC because this is an engineering uh, heavy uh, college. So it is mostly uh, into engineering. So yes, you should have finished your BE or BTEC in first class or uh, you should have finished your uh, ME or MTEC in the first class uh, distinction. Right. So these are the two uh, primary uh, 
you know qualification that is required apart from graduation you should also be a phd holder that is you should have finished your phd either you should have submitted your thesis or you should have finished your phd right so that is so these are the three uh, you know compulsory mandate that's required for you to apply for uh, any position at uh, any uh, faculty or a professor assistant or an associate professor at srm university apart from that you also uh, require a 0 to 5 years of experience is uh, needed right so uh, even if you're a fresher you can apply uh, for this particular position and uh, if you have a postdoctoral uh, research experience then it is an it is a desirable or an added advantage uh, when you're applying for this position right so that is with respect to eligibility for applying the seventh point is about when to apply and how to apply right so um, uh, so particularly at srm university you can apply for any position only when it is called for right so only when there is a call for for any particular position you can apply there uh, secondly so how will you know uh, when the position of biotechnology is open well you need to keep uh, you know looking at the website or the job portals or uh, you can also subscribe to biotechnica because biotechnica um, keeps giving you alerts about um, you know whenever these call first come so you will not be missing out on it so yes you can subscribe to biotechnica as well so once these advertisements are out you need to go to the website and then you need to fill in all your personal details your qualification details your experience or employment details so all of these has to be filled out and then you will be called for an interview right so that is how the uh, process process of selection of candidate happens at SRM university for any assistant or an associate uh, professor position i'm sure this uh, video was super helpful for all the all of you who are looking at joining any private institution as an assistant or an associate professor if you have any doubts let us know in the comment section we are very happy to address your doubts thank you so much and see you all until next video